From stacking shelves in Tesco to slapping Middlesbrough out of the FA Cup in the space of 20 months. Fair to say that Robbie Wilmot took that old rumor about a fading competition and dumped it face first in the mud on Tuesday night. What a wonderful performance from him, and what a wonderful performance from them, that ragtag assortment of cast-offs from Newport who overturned a 56-place deficit in the pyramid to book a fifth-round tie at home to Manchester City. Magic. It is their first trip to that stage since 1949 and how they deserved it. From start to finish they were the better side, helped on their way by Wilmot, who opened the scoring at the start of the second half and then got the assist for Paddy Amon to make it safe. Robbie Wilmot was the star as Newport County knocked Middlesbrough out of the FA Cup. The 28-year-old opened the scoring at a rain-soaked Rodney Parade early in the second half. Padre Damon, left, doubled the host's advantage with a stunning strike from a corner routine. The ex-Grimsby town striker struck in the last round to knock out Premier League Leicester. There were wild celebrations in the dressing room afterwards as Newport celebrated the win. It was Amon who got the winner against Leicester in the previous round, having almost been lost to football a few years earlier. That hardly makes him unique in this side, they all have a tail. Wilmot, at 28, is the journeyman who briefly wound up in a supermarket via Cambridge Regional College, Ebbsfleet, and Bishop Stortford. Their sub, David Pike, has served prison time, their goalkeeper, Joe Day, was ordered to come out and play by his manager, Michael Flynn despite his wife being on the brink of delivering twins. Championship High Flyers Middlesbrough were left with head in hands as to how they lost it. Michael Flynn kept emotions in check but now prepares to meet Manchester City in round five. Flynn himself has a story, he grew up a stone's throw from Tony Pulis across the river from Rodney Parade and Dole. Now his team, placed 14th in League Two with one win in nine, has thrown the fifth-ranked club in the championship out of the cup and there was not even a whiff of luck about it. The first half was all about Newport. About their pitch, which is marked for rugby and has now hosted 59 games this season across three teams from two sports. About their weather, which was gloriously awful. And about their players, who ruled over the quagmire from the start. They created chances relentlessly. On seven minutes they should have had a penalty when Regan Cool's cross hit Adam Clayton's hand and a moment later Mickey Demetriou had a shot locked on Middlesbrough's line before Amon followed up and had his drive hacked away. Throwing caution to the wind, Johnny Housen took aim from distance in search of a lifeline. But Newport held their nerve and continued to show ambition going forward creating chances. Boro had one chance of note among it all, and it was a good one, with Jordan Hugh Hill hitting a post quarter of an hour in. The rest of their performance was dire and dull, save for the moment that Pulis handed Clayton a lengthy list of instructions on a piece of A5 paper. If it had any kind of positive impact, then it was not immediately obvious what that might be. Into the second half of Newport got the lead they warranted after only two minutes. A quick break put Wilmot clear, and his finish from the edge of the area found the top right corner via a nudge from Constanza Paolo. A lovely hit and a fun moment, but the keeper should have done better. The second goal offered no such opportunity. Wilmot sent a corner low to the near post, where it was thundered in by Amon. No faulting the keeper there, no attention diverting anywhere but Newport. In the end they made conditions work for them, and they will welcome City in the next round. Newport fans were in full voice as they